Welcome to the Man of Fauna podcast. My name is Curry, your host, and today we're going to be talking to the single guys. Like I said, guys, if you want to ask any question, go onto my Instagram. I've been getting quite a few questions coming through, and some of them are sifting through. Sometimes I answer to the people that are asking the questions, and I was in a conversation again. I, uh, when I, I'd never reveal any names, so feel free to ask anything you want, and I'm not going to reveal your name, but I will talk about it on the podcast, not just to uh, air your business, so nobody will ever know who you are, but at the same time, we I had a conversation actually, so um, the question was about, because I spoke about sing, um, people that are in partnerships and seduction and stuff like that, so obviously... Somebody who was single decided to say something and said, well, how about for us, for the people that are single, you know, I'm not in a relationship, there's COVID-19, you know, feeling a little bit lonely. What are the things that we can do in order to get a girlfriend? So I told him that um, COVID-19 has got nothing to stop you from getting a boyfriend or girlfriend. It's only in your head. So I think um, sometimes when people ask questions and they... Uh, speak uh, or or say something or asking a question in terms of self-development sometimes people are just looking for enablement not to take action so um, I think he listed a whole host of excuses of why he cannot get a girlfriend and he, I think he just wanted me to say yes in order so in his head he's conflicted he, he wanted to he knows he's supposed to be making some actions because of the desire that he has. So he desires to have a girlfriend. But because he's uh, internally, he's scared or he hasn't overcome some things in, in his own mind. He is um, afraid to actually make the actual moves. So he's built up all these other excuses of why he shouldn't make moves. And he just needed somebody to approve on those decisions that he's made in order to make him feel self feel better about himself. But um, the only one warning I have is that when you do write a message and we have the interaction, I will not enable you to suck at life. No, no way. This, um, I think following my, my nan's passing away, I'm even more resolute in helping people fulfill and live their life by design and not suck at life. So... Uh, any sort of excuses that you make up and it's a genuine excuse not to self-develop and improve, I will call you out on it. And if um, uh, if you, people hate me for it, then it's okay. I'm, I'm quite okay with that. But at the same time, uh, when I speak the truth and push the person, it's not because I hate them or I'm just trying to be self-righteous or anything. I'm actually quite passionate about getting people to the next level in life. And if it means that I will call you out on bullshit, I will call you out on bullshit and try and get you on the right direction. In terms of strategies of getting a partner, there's got plenty of strategies. You just have to implement. And implementing is the hardest bit. So this is the reason why... Um, it wasn't a me telling them off, but it was more of a, a, a discussion, which was a little bit heated, because obviously I started calling out the bullshit. You know, you, um, COVID should never stop you from actually uh, walking up to somebody and saying hello. Um, you, the only problem is that you might not see their face because they kind of, they must have a face. They might have a face covering, so you, you never know. What, you know, once they take the face covering, you might change your mind. But <laughs> despite that, um, there's no reason why you should not be approaching and saying hello. And I said, um, the, I think the main thing was he's not going to approach because it's a COVID nineteen, and the women would be afraid to speak to him because they might suspect that he might have COVID nineteen. And there was all this other stuff. And I said, you know what, um, your problem is not uh, is is not the fact that there's COVID nineteen. The problem is that you're assuming that she's going to be your girlfriend from the moment you say hello. You know, if if you assume that, you're always going to um, become very afraid to actually approach because it's almost like uh, you walk up to a mountain and you walk up to uh, like Mount Everest. The moment you look at it, you're just going to go, you know, it's going to take, literally take your breath away. Literally, you you feel tired before you actually start climbing because you're seeing this 
big ass mountain. Now, if you were walking on a flat road, you could walk the same amount of distance it would take to climb the mountain and not be as intimidated. So it's about lowering your expectation. And if you throw, we started talking about lowering your expectation. Your ultimate goal is just to go over and say hello. Don't think about the number. Don't think about uh, the date. Don't think about, you know, how pretty she is. Don't think about getting laid. Just go with a good vibe and say hello, you know, and then just take it from there. You know, usually uh, if it's during the day, she should be uh, panicked because it's not, it's very rare for women to be approached by a man in the dating and so she's probably going to think you're a salesman she's probably going to be wondering what you want uh, she's probably going to be thinking about covid and she's going to be terrified but as long as you lower your expectation she's going to feel that you're not expecting anything from her and it will quickly ease her and then at that point you can now stretch the conversation to whatever else and that's the that was the premise of our conversation that's where we, we i was trying to get to that you need to not go with an ulterior motive. Do not go up there and ask her to have, you know, to get married and have babies from the moment you open your mouth. And that's basically where he was basing his mindset. That's what, that's where his mindset was. And that's why he was filled with so much fear. So uh, with this podcast episode, podcast episode uh, I'm talking to the single guys. And, you know, if you are looking to get a partner during covid it's possible. You just need to get out of your head and start lowering your expectation. It's actually quite um, arrogant to assume that you can walk up to somebody and they will instantly become your girlfriend or your partner. It's massively arrogant. And to, to a certain extent, you can blame it on television you know, like if you watch like an episode of Friends or something like that, this guy walks up to a girl, he says this funny line and then all of a sudden he's, she says, oh my God, you're so funny. And then, you know, they go and have a drink and then they condense a romance into something like 10 minutes. And then all of a sudden we think that that's the expectation, that the expectation that we put on ourselves in order to fulfill this. And it becomes, it's just absurd, you know, it's quote, Getting a a date shouldn't be uh, that difficult. So it, it is not that difficult, but it shouldn't be uh, a thing that you assume is going to be the same on the television that uh, just because you've stepped up to her and said hello, she's going to like you. She might even ignore you. In fact, half of the times uh, when guys uh, walk up to a woman and then they say hello, uh, she's terrified with the fact that you're talking to her. This is absolutely very new something happening to her and if it's in a club setting where it's a different environment uh, she's had a few drinks she's around her friends her friends are uh, providing comfort because she's in part of a group she might be uh, more receptive to somebody saying hello and talking and you know but if it's in the street and she's about doing her daily thing she's on autopilot so for you to come in and disrupt that pattern is usually uh, a a big oh holy shit holy shit holy shit that's what's going on in the mind and you being able to uh, stop stop her and then stop her from that holy shit holy shit by being relaxed and not putting so much expectation is the key pretty much you know if you don't come with literally a, a wedding ring and proposing um, you, the co- interaction will go quite nicely because uh, the flip side of it is that uh, she's fantasized about a guy walking up to her in Tesco and saying hello, pretty much. She's fantasized about walking down the street and somebody stopping her and saying hello and telling her that she looks pretty and, you know, asking for a number and then eventually going out on a date. It's like something that is rarely happens, you know, to, to them. So... So I was trying to say to him and we went to, eventually got to a a, a place where he understood where I was coming from, that I was not uh, trying to be, you know, horrible to him. I was actually trying to push him to say, you know what, there's no excuse that you have that will stop you from 
actually. The only excuse is actually if you've got COVID and you're supposed to be self-isolating and the person knows that he's supposed to be self-isolating. To be fair, that is the one thing that can stop you. But again, you can be on Tinder and you can be talking on Tinder and, you know, there's all these apps and stuff like that. So uh, COVID-19 should not be a reason why you should be single. If uh, you can be single by choice, that you're probably taking time for yourself so you can... Um, get your shit together but rather than, uh, other than that and you want you want to meet people um it, it should be it's important for you to be meeting people and actually speaking to people uh in terms of girls and or ladies or guys if that's a floats your boat it's important to be doing that uh without the expectation of them becoming your partner but it's just the fact that you're uh, like we used to call it sharpening the sword, that, um, you know, having those interactions is important, that you are having interactions uh, consistently every single day, pushing your boundaries, those social boundaries, constantly pushing yourself. Because the worst thing that can happen is for the woman of your dreams to come into your life and you've got no skill whatsoever, just communicate with them. It's like the worst thing that can ever happen. Um, for me, uh, I spoke to a, lo a lot of women during the time when I was at PUA and I, I got loads of rejections. And the weird thing is that the rejections, I, for I forgot all the rejections and they've never been as painful as the times when I did not take any action. That was, in fact, I remember every single time when I hesitated and did not take action it's like the most painful thing for me rejections in fact i've had sometimes when uh somebody has poured a drink over my head and that is not as painful as the time when i did not take action so and the reason why i've not taken action or i didn't take action is because i built this thing up in my, my head and over you know exaggerated it in my head and really i should have just been expecting just to say hello and then see where it goes from there so hopefully this is helpful for you single guys out there during covid uh, lonely and just feeling sorry for yourselves just get the fuck up and go and start doing something you know don't uh, just hesitate and you know make up stories of reasons why you cannot take action you know um i'm sorry if I just, i'm just a little bit um pumped up for actually you know and uh, one of the reasons is the fact that i you know since my man died i've been thinking about mortality and purpose and you know this is one thing that I, makes me feel like i'm in my purpose when i'm talking on this podcast and the next episode i'll be talking about the reasons why i'm doing a podcast and um you know the outcome i'm hoping for for this so Thank you very much, guys, for listening. Hopefully this has been helpful and it's uh, me kicking your ass, telling you that you need to get your ass into gear. Stop using COVID as a reason why you should be single and depressed and not, you know, taking any action. Fuck that. You know, just come on. You, you need to get up and start doing something. So thank you very much for listening. If you want to learn more of this stuff, join the Men of Honor Facebook group. If you've got any question don't be afraid yes i will talk about it on this podcast i'll never reveal your name but the questions that you have might be the same questions that other people might have and um like i said uh this guy got free one-on-one -on -one coaching uh pretty much most of the afternoon and uh, gave him a few strategies to actually do in terms of when he meets people what to say and stuff like that so he can feel a little bit comfortable but again uh, the main thing was just lowering his um, barriers or in fact lowering his expectations actually so and that was the main thing just lower your expectations so thank you very much guys for listening and I hope to be catching up with you guys soon and yeah um, I'm so pumped up you know it's unreal it's like you know the whole thinking about it, like mortality and being on purpose and doing changing the world is like just got me all pumped up so that's gonna be the next episode and uh 
train and dissect the reason why we're doing all this podcasting and stuff. So thank you very much for listening and I'll be seeing you soon.